uh, Jose, uh, we're going to get Honey uh, to answer your question in about another month. And because uh, we're good friends of us, he'll sell us uh, about a gallon of honey for around ten bucks. And uh, depending on what they're pollen, I didn't. I've learned this from Jose because I don't do honey. I just enjoy it. Um, depending on the plants he's pollinating his bees with, the honey will come from clear water to jet black and seven shades in between depending on the petals they're pollinating from. Okay. And each one has its own, some will have a little nuttier flavor, some will be a sweeter, some will be more of a malt type honey. Very interesting. Uh, it is a science. It's, a, it's an interesting science. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. So uh, we'll be getting more, but it's always available in the store. You can get organic honey in the store, but it costs a little bit more when you go to the store. Sure. When you start making your friends, even if you start growing your own stuff, which is really great, because then you're going to trade some of what you grow for some of what they grow. And that's, that's what's a, a really neat thing. Don't grow the same stuff everybody else is growing. And then everybody will want to barter with you. You take even uh, eggs. Leanne gets the eggs and stuff. An organic egg is like 22 cents in this country. I mean, we get them all day long from our chickens. Um, more in the summer. Uh, they lay every other day in the winter because of the climate. In the summer, every day they're laying eggs. Well, you start taking 22 cents an egg, that's, you know, a dozen eggs is a great bartering tool. We'll probably get 40 bananas for a dozen eggs. Wow. You know, so why do I need to grow bananas? What do you need 40 bananas for? Oh, most you can freeze bananas. Well, yeah. And then it's for her banana bread and ah, cake. Ah, and, um, the famous banana bread. Yeah, sure, because she'll prep yeah. it and freeze it. So in another little while, we'll be uh, stopping for a couple of pictures and then by a restaurant because I really need to get something to eat. Oh, we got us a big, big, big old truck coming down the road. Yep, that's a steep grade. His, see yeah, his he's, he's going to be going. He'll be going slow through that. That's that's for sure. <laughs> so if he loses his brakes on, on that grade, he's yeah, in trouble. I would think so. You know, and there's oh, Coca-Cola. I think what we're going to do here is. Uh, next roundabout I'm gonna pull off to the side and get a picture but yeah you have to sometimes you're stuck behind those guys for a while yeah, yeah there's there's no point in being in a hurry in this country it just doesn't work it just doesn't work I mean what do you have to be in a hurry for that's the better question to be asking on that what is there really to be in a hurry for Sometimes I really have to catch myself and go, okay, I don't have to be doing something every single moment. No, no, absolutely not. Wow. <laughs> Got some haze out there. Yeah. You're going to get some by midday, and what the haze is caused by is the farmers have no choice but to burn because it grows just so fast. They have to burn. There is no other choice. Uh, it's either that or pesticide, you know, the heck out of it. And um, I'll leave this on. This will be an interesting little thing for the camera to pick up, take a look at the brightness of the green and coming into another little, nice little town. farm town, right? And, um, yeah, there's really no point in stopping. The camera will get most of this, and I'll take a few stills later. And got to do what I got to do. I'm hungry. <laughs> so we're coming into a place now. Uh, okay, La Villa Ivan Guzman. So obviously Ivan Guzman was a f uh, po political person in this area or a very prominent, well-respected family. And they have a little town named after him. You'll see how um, I'm going to hit some of the rain clouds very soon. Um, the climate change is a very temperate. Uh, that's why you're going to go from sun to rain, sun to rain. Uh, saladillo, buenvenidos a Saladillo. 
another little town, one after another. So it's not very important that you know the name of all these towns because one leads right into another. Hi guys, I'm just stopped on the side of the road. Those are two other friends of ours that are joining us in the trip here. And I want to do a quick pan shoot from the car. Give you an idea of some of the footage. There's a little mountain road we're on now. We're going to be stopping at a restaurant for a quite bite real quick. And I'm going to just walk over there if I don't get killed with the traffic. But there isn't much traffic. I'm only joking. And I'm slowly going to walk over and give you... Um, these views are like a dime a dozen. Uh, on this road, on this particular road coming uh, to Santiago cutting across. I'll just zoom in just a little bit. These are very, very, very typical of some of the scenery that you're going to get all across this ride. Um, some of them are uh, in excess of a hundred miles. So hopefully this gives you an idea. The only part traffic is a bit of an issue is in uh, Santiago, but we have a route that really works very systematic. And all the smoke you see in the background is farmers that burn. Uh, the, 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 the vegetation grows so quickly here that if, if you don't uh, burn, the overgrowth is, is absolutely incredible. Okay, so we're going to turn it off for now. I'll pick it up at the restaurant and with uh, the group, and uh, we'll catch you on the fly. Just burying them out. Well, guys, here we are. There's a cycle tournament, and I sure don't know how these guys get up these hills. I know that would kill me, but we're going to be stopping here, and we're going to be having a bite to eat, and they're getting ready for carnival time in La Vega. They're getting ready for the Carnival Festival in La Vega. So they're cheering on all the bicycle and have, I, honest to God, cannot tell you how they get up these hills. I have no idea. Okay, guys, this is Barry. We'll catch up soon. I'm here at one of my favorite little stop-off restaurants. It's called Maleno Windmill. Maleno. It's a beautiful little restaurant. Very, very local. Now there's a cycle tournament here. Uh, ten speeds, you know, mountain bikers. And they're all stopping here for lunch at this particular restaurant. And we're just going to have a bite to eat. And it's one of my favorite stop-offs when I'm with the, the crew and taking people out. Maleno restaurant. Excelente. La calidad a la más Bueno, the best quality food around, and we'll catch up, and I'll just do a quick pan shoot from outside where we like to. Everyone's having a good time. So here it is off the porch, and the air is quite a bit cooler. And uh, to give you just an idea, I am shooting into a hazy day, though. There's been a lot of burning from the fields. But it gives you an idea, and the second mountain background would be mountains of Harabacoa, Harabacoa. And we're going to have a very nice lunch here, and it's a great place to stop. Here's the outdoor deck. I'm going by the pole, and people having a grand old time. I don't know how these cyclists make it up this mountain. I just don't know. It's amazing. Uh, on one of my last trips, I found them at the top. I don't know if it was the same group or not, but I also found them at the top of Costanza. So it's it's beyond me how they do this. So anyway, we'll catch you after lunch, and we'll head into some of the grocery stores. Burying them out.